The footage you are about to watch is of a sensitive nature, and although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. A young boy slowly limps into the synagogue church of all nations, supported by a pair of crutches. As can be clearly seen, he cannot put any weight whatsoever onto his left leg. The placard he is holding reveals why. After sustaining an injury, a cancerous wound erupted on his leg. The medical report reveals he has undergone two operations without success. A closer look at the leg exposes the seriousness of the situation. The broken bone is actually protruding out of his leg and a flow of cancerous fluid is coming from the wound. This situation has obviously gone beyond the power of nature. It has become a curse, and who can remove a curse but God? My name is Maria Oladino from Cross River State. Beside me is my son. His name is David Oladino. And what's the reason that you're here with your son today? because he have an uh, accident. Uh, one boy at their school, so they are playing karate. Then he hits him, then he fall down. He fall down seriously. So after four days, that is how he told us that the leg, he didn't understand his leg. Then we take him to the hospital, then treat him put him bandage. After two days, the leg started swelling. Then after three weeks, the leg started open again. That is how we see it. Then the bone come out. Then it break at the side. And the doctor said it's a leg cancer and broken bone. So your son now has leg cancer and a broken bone due to that injury? Yes. And we can see he's also using crutches. Yes, because now he can't walk, he can't do anything, he can't go to the school. Well, so you mean without these crutches he cannot walk? He cannot walk. So how has that affected his life? It's affecting his education and he cannot play with his friend. He sits one place. I'm the one that is taking care of him every day. Well, what did the doctors say about his situation? Is there no more solution or what? There's no more solution. Okay, so now you're here with your son at the Synagogue Church for Nations. What do you believe that God Almighty would do for him? I believe that God will heal him and see us through. Amen. We believe with you that God Almighty will heal your son in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is David Oladero. I'm 10 years old. I have leg cancer and broke bone. Now you're here at the Synagogue Church for Nations. What do you believe that God will do for you? I believe that God will heal me. Amen. We believe with you that God Almighty will heal you in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to see many challenges, many sickness, many disease, many unyielding situation to prayer. I want to see them yield to prayer. The Lord said, okay, well, if that is your desire to your people and to your nation, you don't want to see people sick. You want to see the sick healed. Many infirmity being cured. As a result of that demand, the Lord gave us this. And this is the first day. Man of God, please help me. My son bone is out. They play karate in the school. Man of God, please help me. Cannot walk. Man of God, please help me. My bone is outside. Cannot walk. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. You are healed indeed. 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 You are healed indeed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The evidence of God's miracles is our rising and walking.
Master David places his weight on his left leg and begins to walk without the aid of the crutches for the very first time since the injury. Glory be to God. Mrs. Maria actually kept the bone which once protruded from her son's leg, serving as undeniable evidence of the miraculous power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the bone you are looking. The law is reliable. Put your trust in him. People of God, praise the Lord. Emmanuel. My name is Maria Oladino. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations was leg cancer, me and my son. So the thing happened when I was in Abuja. We went to the hospital, and they said they will cut off the leg. So this my brother now came to our house. He came to greet us, and he see me crying. He said, ah, have I heard of Emmanuel TV? I said, no. Then I begin to watch Emmanuel TV. Listen to that language. They want to amputate the leg. But the thought of, ah, if I amputate my son's leg, it will remain one leg. You know, these are moments they are so caring. The thought of, ah, oh, hey, hey, my child will have one leg. He was thinking about that before a brother came to the house. Watch him and him. After that, he came. He was not even here to stop that amputation, just to stop the pain so that the operation will succeed. That is the, the reason why they came here. There is a warehouse you don't know about. Your head has extra head. Your leg, extra leg. Oh, my gosh. Look. When you have a vehicle, you have paper, tire, everything. You must have at least two, two, two. Like we have president, we have white president. That is God for you. We have gone astray. That is the problem we are facing. If this hand is injured and is about to be caught, ask God the extra one. He will open the warehouse and give you the one. So that is exactly what happened. The extra leg is the one that God has given to this boy. That is God for you. That is God for you. Every part of our body has extra being kept in the warehouse. It depends on your relationship with God. You can only get this by dynamic faith. Because lack of dynamic faith limits 
what God can do through us. Tell your neighbor, lack of dynamic faith limits what God can do through us. Let's say, pain, pain, the next thing you have gone too far. So this boy will have had just one leg today. Okay, let's hear from him. That day was the day that the morning water come out. They arranged us for prayer line. That is how man of God walked to me. And I'm praying, man of God, please help me. Then he walked down to my side and gave me the anointing water. And I ministered it and I sprinkled it to my son's leg. That is how the leg started shaking. And man of God said, the leg, another one will replace, the bone will replace, and that one will de- decay. So that is how the bones fell. And now, I give God the glory. My son can go to school. He can play with his friend. He can do anything on his own now. Manwe. My name is David Oladino. I'm from Oyo State, Ibadan. I reside in my mother's village, Cross River State. The problem that brought me to Sunago Church of All Nation is leg cancer. I cannot walk, I can't go to school, I can't do anything. My mom is my mom that is the person that used to assist me, and I'm using crutches to walk. We went to hospital to hospital, so the doctor said there is no solution again, they should go and cut off the leg. So my uncle here, yeah, my mom brought and I say we should come to Sinago. So when I come, when I came to Sinago, then they now arranged us in prayer line. Then my uh, the prophet, senior prophet TV and I give my mom the morning water. Thank you. Like I have said, I want to meet you people and to tell you about this boy. Why this miraculous thing happened? The boy you are seeing is the crown of the house. <laughs> so, if you go and wait for me. Uh, you want to play football inside the church? Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.